all right guys welcome back to the channel me and pops out here on the last day we're able to fish this body of water got out the electric rig today and uh yeah they cut it off tomorrow so water temps in the 47 48 degree range it's the end of the year hang with us see if we can get on uh get on some fish today this is uh definitely going to be a winter time bite so hopefully we can figure out a pattern and run with it and uh yeah end the year with a bang thanks for hanging out here we go Yeah, that's a big old largey boy. He's coming in the boat. Oh. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Yes. Yes, sir. Look at that crankbait, boys. Huh? Yes, sir. Hey, hey, he did. He definitely smacked it. Uh, yes, sir. I was going boat flip him, but I didn't have the momentum. As you can see, go boys there we go huh what a beautiful scale. bass where is your scale beautiful winter bass right off the bat first stop get this thing back there we go Right. And he was like, okay. Big old slab. Right on. All right, buddy. All right. Love you, Bubba. Later, later, buddy. Happy New Year. Yeah, Happy New Year to you, too. Bye. Bye. Slabs, boys. Slabs. You want a taco tonight? That's what... Uh, that's what is doing all the flickering. So when we come through here, you'll see stuff up by the surface flickering. Right. We're scaring them. It's crappy. Oh, I hit something. Yeah. <laughs> I felt it. Here you go, Pat. White perch. That's what's down there. <laughs> Did you? We're going to keep it moving if that's what's there. Huh? Right here. Blade fish. That's what that pile was. Oh, absolutely. That's what I said. It's a wonder we didn't snag some. Go. Digging. 
get the net. Yes! Ho, 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 ho. Wow. <laughs> He's like a tank. Look at that. Hey. And he was what, right up on the bank? That lay down. <coughs> hey, boys. Not get hooked. Huh? Check him out. Beautiful. That's a Kentuck. Yeah. Beautiful winter bass. That color's been amazing for me. Look. Oh. Literally was hanging there by a thread. He is a tank. Y'all killing them or what? Come on, man. Come on, man. There probably ain't no damn perch left in this place up here. <laughs> Are they whacking them? Oh, yeah. Old bass. Yeah. Old DT10 strikes again. Yeah, I've seen them. She little. Well, we're alright with that. Yeah. I like to feel that tug. All right, guys, midday update. A uh, couple decent bass, one little dink. Um, seemed to be hitting the crankbait. You know, one came on a DT-10 and one came on a square bill the, of the bigger ones. Uh, one thing about this lake we fish, man, a DT-10, you just need to, it seems like you just need to keep on tied on your rod. Um, it's, a, it's a deep clear lake, something you would probably relate to something like a Highland Reservoir. Um, it is a reservoir, it's really clear, it's actually a drinking supply. But yeah, midday update, a couple decent ones, we're going to keep after it. Hang with us. Alright guys, let's talk about the setup a little bit. So this is... A uh, loose carbon fire that I'm throwing my I throw my DT10 on. Um, loose carbon fire rod, loose carbon fire reel. This is a seven foot medium heavy, but the deal with this is this isn't a fast action. This is a moderate action, so it's a lot more parabolic down in the rod, uh, down towards the butt section. A whole lot further than a fast action. Um, I'm running that on 12 pound Seaguar red label and uh, this DT10 that has been doing the work today is the pearl gray shiner. So yeah man it's done great for us today. And I, if you're doing any kind of medium medium depth cranking this has been a great cranking stick for me. But if you're going to get a medium heavy, again, the deal is make sure you get a moderate action. Because if you get a fast action, I mean, that's you can throw Texas rigs and all that on that. I mean, this is definitely a lot more parabolic.
we go, boys. It's always good to us. Here we go, boys. DT10 produces again. Huh? All right, guys, just got back to the shop, wrapping up the day a little bit. Hey, we didn't catch a lot of fish today, but we caught some good fish today. Um, anytime we can get out end of December, beginning of January, uh, today was next, tomorrow's New Year's. So anytime we can get out, weather's in the 50s, we're going to get out. Um, what we caught them on today, some of the gear we used. Did some damage today on a DT-10. This color is Pearl Gray Shiner. Just got it in. Um, really like that paint scheme. What I'm filming my square bills on. This is a custom painted square bill. Uh, you can see shad pattern to a, a dark purple back, black purple back. Um, I'm filming this on a Rapala rod. This is a 6.6 medium. Quarter to five eighths ounce, eight to seventeen pound test, and you can see, guys, this thing's very whippy. Um, you need that when you're throwing square bills. One, so it bumps and comes over the cover. Two, so when that fish grabs it, he can get it deep, and that rod will just load up. Um, did catch some fish today on, uh, some crappy on a vision 110 by mega bass 110 plus one pro blue color. You guys need anything custom painted like this? Um, uh, go ahead and hit up my boy, Trevor at big Creek custom lures. Uh, he does awesome paint schemes, can paint anything you want. Um, use discount code solder fishing for 10% off. Also, you guys been seeing us on live. Uh, up at Dominator Bait Works, pouring some baits. You guys need any plastics? They got them all, man. From drop shop baits to Texas, Texas rig stuff, worms, menace grubs, little flukes. You name it, he's got it. You know, crawls, all of it. So go ahead and hit them up. Use discount code Salter Fishing there for 10% off there as well. Guys, thanks for hanging out all year. It's been a blast. Um, hopefully we can get out another time or two, but we are starting to press our luck, I think, a little bit. So if we can, we can. If not, boys, it's been great hanging out all year. Make sure you hit the like button for us if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. We'll see you boys out there.